that tone? We played okay. I still, <laughs> we missed a lot of opportunities, but overall, I think we got better as a group. Um, still got to build chemistry along the defense, a lot of new faces, so it's going to be challenging along the season. Uh, but overall, today, I grade us a C+. Plus. Did you uh, just one quick thing? Did uh, look like you're pretty upset when they scored late. Like, was that? Did you feel like you guys got a little just looser as the game ended? Was that what, what was bugging you? No, no, no. I just, I think, I think like Spags, you know, um, I think we was winning like forty-four to seven. Then, if we can go in with that score, keep it, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm a competitor, so when they score, I, I kind of get a little antsy, agitated. All of the above, you know. <laughs> how about the uh, pass rush part of it? How did you feel about? It? How did you feel you guys did on that part? Okay, uh, we missed a lot of opportunities. I think we missed like three sacks, but we also got three sacks uh, amongst the defensive line. So uh, from that, you know, he, he's a shifty guy, hard to bring down. He ducked under me on one of them, um, threw the ball on George on the other one. I ran Frank Clark. No pun intended. <laughs> but uh, we, we got to him. We affect him in multiple ways. Uh, Carlos said number 97. That's good for him. So, you know, now it's about the Chargers. Just, just kind of to the naked eye, it looked like you guys were pretty were quicker maybe than, than, you, than you've been. I'm not sure of that, but it looked like that. And the tackling generally looked, I, I thought, actually pretty pretty sure. Did you, did you feel like that too, or is that still giving the C plus? We still get C plus. Um, we put an emphasis on tackling. Um, we usually start the year off um, with 12 to 16 missed tackles. First game, you know everybody is getting accustomed. What I think this year during training camp, uh, emphasizing that and making sure that uh, guys rally to the ball. Most importantly, making sure we get out of stacks as a defensive line. Our linebackers are flying around, and once we all commit to that, you know the missed tackles goes down. And it becomes a game tackle. So, you know, with that, we got to be consistent with it and uh, hone in on that. Speaking of the linebackers, obviously, Nick Bolton in the role as the green guy. How do you think he did this, this through the season over again? Getting you guys lined up and relaying the calls? I, did pre- I think he did pretty good. Um, you know, we asked Nick to take a larger role this year. With Anthony Hitchens gone, he is our play caller, and uh, he's been tremendous since training camp, you know, lining us up, you know in the midst of all the bullets that's flying around. And uh, hurry up a uh, few situations. He actually called the play for us. The uh, headphones went out. So I think Nick did a really, really good job today. Very proud of him. So not great than the C plus? Uh, I said overall as a defense. Okay. We gave up 14 points. So there's <laughs> always room for improvement. Last one. Chris Sarkis already answered this. We did official later. But um, you seem pretty upset after the last touchdown where you're trying to sort of set a tone right now. Yeah, we got to set that tone, man. Um, this is new defense. and. Uh, it's about setting the standard. We hate for, you know, those are garbage scores because the game is out of reach. And, you know, that's the time where the D-line can kind of finally eat, you know. <laughs> we don't run any blitzes. You don't run any schemes. You drop the playbook. We rush in for, put the back end in, like, cover three quarter halves and just let us see it. And um, I put it on the defensive line. We got to get there. We got to affect the quarterback. You make him, he hold it over four to five seconds, then you put him back in a bad situation. So as a competitor, you start thinking that, and you get upset with the D-line. That's it. Y'all guys, take care. Thank you.